Hey Spike, one of my subscribers asked, how do we keep you safe in the RV when we leave you all by yourself to make sure that the temperature is right? So we're going to show them, right? Are you happy, Spike? Yeah, okay. So this is how we monitor our RV when we're not here. Stand by. One of my subscribers wanted to know what we do to monitor our RV when we're not around and we leave Spike in it. Well, I've got several um, components that make up that system. I believe in kind of redundancy. Probably a little bit too much at times, but can't be too safe. We only got, we got one Spike. I can have seven different ways of doing stuff. So the first thing I have up here on the wall, this is an RV pet safety. Uh, monitor and it plugs into this little thing right here, a little holder, and that's what it looks like. I'm gonna get up this time. Yeah. Okay, our first our first level of monitoring is this right here. This is a, a uh, it's RV pet safety, also called a nimble and it's a subscription based product. I keep it a little mount right here. It's plugged in to, US, to a USB port and I'll show you what that looks like on the cell phone. So here we go. Okay, on my cell phone I have an app that's this little dog looking guy. It says Nimble Pet. So if I tap that and I go to safety Okay, it shows that right now the, the AC, the, well it doesn't show the AC, but it shows the temperature in here is 73.74 and on my screen right here it says 71. So thermometers, they, they're, they can be all over the place on temperatures, but as long as you have a comfortable feeling of an average, it's good. So on this right here, I can set these parameters anywhere in the green, it's not going to give me an alarm. If it's in this red, it says it's too hot. If it's in the blue, it's too cold. So I can set this. I have it at 110 right now because we're not in the RV where we hadn't been. But I can set it down now to uh, 86. And now that little green level shrunk. I could set it down to 69. And now it's red here and it'll send me a text in a few minutes and it'll let me know that I'm over temperature so this is the RV pet safety monitor we've had this for um, two years now I do believe I, th I think I've renewed it twice now and I've been happy with it it works off of a Verizon a Verizon cell towers so as long as you have the Verizon cell phone coverage for it it'll work you could have an AT&T cell phone, doesn't really matter, but it's basically, a, it's on its own, kind of like a, uh, like a little cell phone itself. It, it, it texts, when it gets over that temperature or below that temperature, it sends a text message to any place you want it to go to. It could go to your kid's house or whatever, so that's neat. But it also has a cool little feature too, where it can show you... Do, do, do. your location if I just tap that it'll bring up a map and it'll show you where your location is which is pretty neat so I like that so if you're out parked somewhere and you forget where you parked your van like if you're in downtown uh, Tucson or somewhere and you say uh, I thought we were over here and you're not there well you can pull us out and you can look and find your way back and that's happened to us before yeah we were in Santa Fe Santa Mexico, Fe Santa Fe New Mexico and we didn't have this yeah and it took us about an hour to find the van yeah but if I had this I could have just boom found it so that's that's my uh, first level the second thing is sometimes like 
like we were at a restaurant in Cherokee up in North Carolina and there was no uh, Verizon cell phone coverage there so that d it didn't work for us there but I've got this little thing right here this is a um, Accurite I bought this at um, Camping World and it comes with this little uh, sensor or uh, this is the uh, the um, this thing that reads the temperature and this tells you what this is so basically this has an, a temperature wherever this is located which is it calls it the indoor temperature and wh wherever this is located is called the outdoor temperature and they're both about the same right now 74 and 72 because um, I took this outside a few minutes ago I actually walked up the street because up here in this top corner, I don't know if you can see, there's like a little, a little um, level up there, uh, signal strength. And I actually walked about 100 yards away from the van, and it was still picking up, and it had it showed full uh, signal strength. So with, with this, you leave this in the van on the counter, you take this into a restaurant with you, it's got a little kickstand on it like that, and you can just set it down there as you're eating. And you can just sit there and watch the temperature it sits like that so you can just set that on the table and if, if you're like within you know 50 yards 100 yards or so and you can kind of keep an eye on the, the temperature so that's my second level my second system uh, starting and what's it called again oh that's a this is an Accurite uh, I'll, po I'll post a link to the Accurite and to the uh, all my stuff uh, in the comments below so I have that and then I also have a Verizon jetpack, a MiFi, and I have a camera up here, and then I have a, it's, it's mounted to a magnet, and I have one I can set up on the dash up front. If you look up on the dash, there's, there's one up there. And that one, I have a little tripod I set it on, and if you look back here at me, you're gonna come back this way. There's what the camera up there sees. So Spike's sitting up in the front seats, we can watch him. But that one's got a pan and scan, so I can go like this. And, I, and if the window shade was out, I could look out the window and see who's there. And then I can come back here. And I can look out the, that window. It's uh, overpowering it right now, but you can see, you can, you can zoom in. So that, that's pretty cool. Oh, dude, let's see. It takes it a few seconds to get moved around. Oops, okay. You gotta be a little patient sometimes. Patience, my son. Let's see. Okay, so there we are. Hey, look, and there's. You can look, and there's me and Deb. Hi. <laughs> and then. So that's, that's the, that camera. And then I also have the back camera back here, which is, and it shows it like that. And that one's not, let's see, it's got to connect. There we go. So if me and Spike were sitting back here, a um, little lag there. It's not instantaneous. So if I go like wave, wave, <laughs> it's a little slow, but it's okay. So it's a nice picture. And you can zoom in on that too. That one doesn't pan and scan. Okay, so that's so that gives me so far my RV pet safety, my little Accurite one, my monitors there. Okay, I just got a text message. Oh, let's see. Right here, Nimble Pet Monitor, and it says that uh, the temperature in here is 73.18 degrees, which is over that threshold that I set when I changed this threshold down. So that's what it looks like. See, 113, 113, 113. I turned it off and made it just higher so I'd stop getting all those. But that's what it looks like. You get a little text message. So my next level is a sensor push. These little things right here. I have four of these. I have one mounted behind the wall right here. I call that one my over the sofa. I have one that's on the other side of the bathroom wall and I call that my cab. I have one in the freezer and I have one in the refrigerator. 
and I took the one out of the refrigerator this is what it looks like and if you look on my phone here I can pull these up it says right now my refrigerator is 63.8 degrees and rising and my freezer is 20 the cab is 71 the sofa is 69 and you can tap on this you can look at the hour the day the week the month or the year so like if we go for the week we haven't we've been home so uh, the air conditioner hadn't been on you look at a month you can see it's it's been rising up and down uh, you can go out to a year and so that's pretty cool like for example the refrigerator it says 63.8 and it shows the temperature rising and if you look at the day at four uh, the last 24 hour period at 4 p.m. it'd been it been running right around 33 degrees you can see this little line right there kinda holding flat and then all of a sudden it spiked up well the reason it spiked up to 65 degrees is because it's right here I took it out of the refrigerator I've got one still in the freezer you can see where when it's, it does this that's because that's the ref, the um, the compressor cycling it's going between 18 and a half and 20.6 that's your set points so the the um, compressor kicks on it cools it down it turns off and it starts to warm up again and you can see right there um, it's red because I have my um, temperature that to alert me on at 20 degrees if I change that up to 26 let's say now it's it's all gone but I'll put that back to 26 or back to 20 there we go so you can see we I had the refrigerator turned off we came home and it was like 91 degrees in the fridge in the freezer but when I turned it back on it just dropped down there and it's running right it's, it's, it's nice and steady so that's that's my uh, sensor pushes so I have uh, four of these now these are only Bluetooth so if I'm outside of the van I'm only I can only read these about 30 feet away 40 feet away I'm gonna look at maybe a Bluetooth extender for them but uh, this is really nice just for monitoring the refrigerators my my uh, real purpose of having these the refrigerator the freezer so I got the refrigerator the freezer covered with those I've got this for just like going into a restaurant where we don't have cell phone coverage for Verizon I have my uh, nimble RV pet safety monitor and I have little wise cameras so between all of that stuff um, everything's good I thought about getting right here a big thermometer like like a little stick-on thermometer and then that way I could see it with the camera so in case my other temperatures weren't working as long as I had um, uh, my cell phone as long as I you know my uh, wise cameras are working I could look inside the cab and see the temperature another thing I'm gonna do I haven't got around to doing it yet because I just do paper I hand write a note but I'm gonna get some nice uh, vinyl cut letters and say uh, RV air conditioned temperature remotely monitored and put those on both sides of the van because some people might come by and they might see spike in there and get all worried about them not realizing that he's probably in here freezing right spike are you cold like he look, is right look now. at that little he's shiver a little bit. he's shivering because it's 70 look. it's 72 spike come here spike come on come on this uh oh for for anybody that doesn't know spike this is spike and my a lot of my regular subscribers they know spike he's a He's a great little addition to our traveling. We, he's been in, I think, what, something like 40-something states now. He hasn't been to California, Oregon, uh, North Dakota, Delaware, New Jersey, Hawaii, and Alaska. But he's been everywhere else. And... Uh, He's a sweet little fella. So that's the main reason I have all my temperature monitoring is just to kind of keep an eye out for him because sometimes we'll leave him in the van when we go into a restaurant or to a store or something and we can't take him with us. So I'll leave him out there either with the air conditioner running or the heat running 
whatever is needed for spike so well thanks for watching i hope this uh answered any questions if you got any other questions just uh, leave me a comment if you like the video give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe i appreciate it and thanks and have a wonderful day enjoy enjoy rving and seeing the country thanks bye